One of the biggest things facing knife collectors, and you can ask their wives is, we make a mess, we've got knives everywhere. So the question, the biggest problem in the knife world really as a collector is, how do I store these? So we're gonna look at some storage options. We're gonna look at the pluses, the minuses and stuff like that. There's a lot of really good options. So let's turn this around and take a look at that from above. So I know it sounds trivial, but storage of knives can be a, an important part of the knife collected hobby. One, especially if you have a wife, she's going to tell you like, look, there's just stuff everywhere. You've got to take care of it. You got to figure out where you're going to store your knives. And the other thing with storage is a lot of guys would just be like, I'll oh, just throw them in a drawer somewhere and you can dig through them. If you've got expensive knives, sometimes you want to protect them. I have some very expensive knives. So we're going to look at some options that provide you protection of your knives, ease of storage, ease of care and things like that. Some of them are better than others. I'll tell you the pluses and minuses. If you're like me, like I literally have hundreds of knives. Uh, you can see there on the shelves, that stuff you're seeing right now, that's just stuff that's in for review. I've got boxes of knives here that, that are sitting on the floor here in the shop. So let's look at the first option for storage, which I think is the least optimal, but does provide you really, really good protection for your expensive knives. And it's individual knife cases. John Grimsmo, I think John was one of the first people I saw doing this, sending their knives out in custom cases. Now, these are really, really nice. This is high density foam. It's cut out. Your knife doesn't rattle. All the stuff you need for it's in here. Um, there's, spare, there's a spot for any spare parts um, in here. Like I have a spare set of bearings because I found a spot that I thought I lost. You can keep all your paperwork for it. These are nice and they definitely will protect your expensive knives. Um, this was one. This is an NTAC from Fair and Forge Knife Works. This is a knife I bought for my father. So I technically have two NTACs. I bought this for my father before he passed away. It was a retirement gift. These were done by Nowpack. This is uh, their high density foam cases they do. It's almost like a Pelican case style, and they're cut out to match the specific knife. Some companies are doing that with individual knives. Uh, there's some companies. PMP sends a nice, either a hard case or a semi-hard case with their knives and it gives you really good protection of, of knives. And some of these are really cool because you can stack these. These PMP ones uh, are all the same. These ones don't stack so well, but you can just kind of throw these in a box if you want your knife protected. There's a couple other types that are available that you really can see uh, that, are, that aren't as big and bulky. So this is the one that came with my Dirk Pinkerton uh, this is the one that came with my Dirk Pinkerton uh, inversion. Uh, Terra Mundi Knives is doing it. These are nice because they're smaller and they stack nicely. So if you've got a shelf and you've got, you've got room to put these on, this could be a really, really good option for your higher end knives. I don't recommend it if you're a guy like me. Like I've, I, I just in one case, I've got like a lot. And I'll show you in a little bit. This really doesn't work for me to have one of these for every knife. It's the equivalent of keeping the box that the knife came in. Sometimes I do keep the boxes, but this is really good for, like I said, high end stuff or specific items that you want to keep knife like nice. Like I said, this was a gift for my father. This is a very expensive knife. I, I like the fact it has its own case. So it's not rattling around. It's not bumping into stuff. It's not getting stuff in it. So uh, individual cases, not my top preferred but definitely is a very good option. So let's look at the next one. It's going to be hard for you guys to see it. It's a knife roll, and I've just got it laid out here. So these just roll up. I'll show you a picture of it all rolled up here. But uh, these have slots for individual individual knives. As a matter of fact, I will uh, I'll back this out so you guys can see. You can see there's slots for individual knives, and these things are great for just storage on a shelf. You can roll this up and you can just stick it on a shelf and you can stack a couple. And if you look, there's a lot of knives in here. So you've got three, four, five, what is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can put 30 knives in this and then roll it up and then cinch it down and put it on a shelf. Uh, they're great for that. You can see the knives you have available. So if you want to lay this out, you can do that. And then you can see what knives are in this. If you want to pull one out for specific, you can just kind of like uh, find a loop. There's a, a handle on one end of these. Usually you can see here, just put a loop on the wall and you just hang this on the wall. And then you just can pull this piece out of the way and you see what knives are in there. Uh, the knives are pretty secure. They sit in there nicely. And like I said, once you roll it up, it doesn't take up a lot of space. These do have some, some bad parts to them. Uh, even though you put this in here like this, when you roll it up, 
Uh, the knives, if you've got nicer knives with specific finishes, the knives can bump into each other, even though this piece is in here. Uh, and you think the large, like knives, larger knives, especially this knife is not going to be in this case much longer. I've had it actually unroll it and I find this knife laying in the middle or it falls out of the end where it's all rolled up. The problem with it is bigger knives. You're only, you have a limited slot here that they'll go into. Um, if you get some of the more expensive ones, they have a different uh, material that's on here. You can get ones that have clear plastic uh, that would mitigate this next problem. But knives with pot, with thumb studs, especially on these mesh, let's zoom back in. So these mesh uh, slots, thumb studs, catch on them. And then your knife, get, it's just basically stuck in there. And you have to fight with it. This knife here in particular, let's, let me... Let me zoom back out. This knife here in particular, not so much every time, but this will catch. And uh, I have a couple of these slots that thumb sets. Here's a really good, here's a really good example. Hear that? Uh, it rips every time trying to get my QSP. Pelican or penguin out. Um, the, uh, this one's not too bad. The canary is not too bad. But thumb studs catch on these and they'll rip these. And then they they don't last as long. Uh, some of the other knives in the other case are great. The other thing too is if you jostle this around a lot, you'll you'll open up your case and you'll have knives that fell out, even though they fit in here because there's that's really a slick, you know, that's a really a slick material that you're sliding it into and the pocket clip doesn't have a lot to catch onto. And so you open it up and some of your knives are just laying willy-nilly in your, in your uh, roll that they could fall out if you're traveling with it. So they are nice. I will say a roll is nice, but they're not my favorite. There's a different type of roll. I'm going to show you the different type of roll uh, later. There's a different type of roll that right now is my favorite of all the cases, but we'll get to that. So next, let's talk about a more travel friendly option if you're traveling with knives that is great, great protection. You guys aren't going to be able to see this really good. Let me zoom back out again. It's the hard sided knife case. Um, there's a lot of different options with these. This one is my personal one. It is simply a Pelican style case. I think this is a seahorse case. You pop it open and it's got pick and pluck in it. And then it's got the soft foam top. And you can see, you can put a lot of knives in here. There's 32 knives. There's slots for 32 knives in this case. And if I had been a little bit more conservative where I put them, I could have put more in. So this is a great, great way. If you're traveling with a lot of knives, you can lock it. If you're gonna put it on an airplane, you can see if you can see, yeah, you can see there's spots to put a padlock on this case. If you're going to carry it on an airplane as checked luggage, really, really a good option. Um, the, there are companies that make these with specific inserts. Uh, Nico has one. They look just like the case that I have for my father's, um, I'm grabbing it right now because it's behind me. This one, this was done by Nowpack. They do these, they're laser cut for specific knives. They also make inserts for Pelican cases. If you can get them to do it, uh, you got to buy everything from them. It's expensive, but they're laser cut and they're this high density foam and uh, definitely last longer than this pick and pluck. So, but a really, really good option. Now the downside of these, and I'm going to zoom back in so that you can kind of see it better. This pick and pluck foam starts to break down. And I just cleaned this out a couple days ago. And what I was noticing is see all that black stuff that's down in some of these, this pick and pluck is breaking down. You see here, and you got to replace the pick and pluck every once in a while. It's just breaking down and I'm getting little foam pieces that are getting in my knives. So it is a plus and a minus. So uh, you do, you do occasionally have to replace the pick and pluck. So that's one of the things to look at. And the other thing is this is 32 knives, but this still is the size of a suitcase. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, could you take all 32 of these knives, put them in their individual boxes, stack them on a shelf neatly and be have them out of the way? Yeah, but for somebody like me that is in and out of this case all the time to film videos for comparison, not a great, great option. This is probably the best protection, a, a, a dedicated case, almost like a pistol case or something like this where you can get it. And then there's other things that you can do with this, like these pick and pluck slots. Um, there's a, uh, a friend of mine that makes a piece that is a spacer so that smaller knives, see how some of these smaller knives have dropped way down in there. This one is a small knife, but has a spacer. You can hear the NTAC has one in there as well. So you can customize your case 
and it can get expensive. Pick and pluck is probably the cheapest option. But like I said, I'm at the point where now I have to replace the pick and pluck in this. So, but then, like I said, if you're doing it yourself, you can pick different like options. Like I could have put a diff I could have done this so that there were knives. I could have added one more knife to each row, probably moved it up and made an extra row down here. So really, really good option. Um, I'll put links to now pack group down below so you can check out the prices on their specific purpose built cases for knives but yeah really really good option especially if you have a lot of knives and if you get stickers you can put stickers on it and just really customize your case makes it a lot easier to find yours my daughter even made like a little lanyard for me it was a bracelet it didn't fit and we turned it into a thing so obviously obviously the best protection you can get for expensive knives, especially like, like I said, if you don't want to go the single knife route for expensive knives. So there is a final type of roll that right now is my favorite storage for knives if you just got general use knives. So let's break that one out and I'll show you what I think is the best overall option right now. And it's this nafs.com knife burrito that they make. Uh, it's, it's really, really well done. Uh, it's done in canvas and it closes you can adjust it when you get a bunch of knives in it it's going to fill up it's got a spot for patches so i have patches as well even though you saw i got stickers on everything i get patches sometimes from people they send them to me to the channel when they send stuff absolutely love the fact there's a big area for velcro but then you get into it and you've got these canvas slots that your knives are in but the fact is even though it's easy to get them in and out this is a knife that absolutely is horrible in the other case this is why it's in this case these thumb studs i've ripped the slots on uh on that case several times with this knife uh they're easy to get in and out uh, and things like that and then it's got multi layers so there's a spot further down here when you open it up you can see there's three i'll zoom out so you can see it you can see that there's one two three rows but then you run into things and this is what i want to point out this knife won't fit in any of my other cases this knife is huge this is the uh proponent dirk pinkerton design and this has spots for big knives there's two spots for oversized knives in here you can put other stuff in here and you got spots for pins but then the cool thing about this case and the reason i like it so much that gives you i think the best overall is the way it folds up so i'm going to show you it really protects your knives incredibly well so this has got a magnet as you can see it's grabbing knives from out in the outskirts of town you've got magnets and this should actually this will go here um just so i can show you there's a magnet closure that keeps this shut and then this folds up like this so these are encapsulated they're pinched in there and then this goes across and then you just close it with these hooks so you've got a really good secure closure on it and then what i was saying about hanging things up this has got two holes so you can put hooks up on the wall and you could feasibly hang this on the wall and that way you've got all your knives hanging in one spot i may make a spot for it off to the side here on that set of shelves you saw in the very beginning this i think is the best of both worlds it doesn't hold as many knives but you've got what is that? Six knives, three rows of three rows of six, basically, well, two rows of six and one row of five. So you've got a lot of storage still, and it folds up nicely. And like I said, the best part of it is when you fold it up, everything's locked in. It's just all in there. I think this is the best one. My little buddy Nico got this for me at the, at a knife show. It's nafs.com, same people that make the mat that's on here. I'll tag them in this and I'll put a link below. I think this right now is my favorite storage because on top of everything else, you saw the roll, how it was rolled. This, this is a lot flatter and you can stack it. You can't stack the rolls the way you can stack this. So you could have multiple of these and stack them up. So storage does get expensive. I didn't look up the price on these. There will be... Uh, a link to, like I said, nafs.com or one of my affiliates that carries this. Uh, but I'll put a, a price down here. It can get expensive for storage, but the fact is how much money do you have tied up in knives? That hard case that I showed you guys, the big one, there's a couple knives in there that are well over $1,000. I got one in there that's $2,200 knife. Uh, it's a full custom. 
So if you've got knives like that, and like I said, with things like this that are like a sentimental thing, this was a, that you just don't want anything to happen to, or my Grimsman and Norseman, having proper storage is just great. And then, like I said, you can just cinch this down and it's all locked in. Absolutely, absolutely a great case. Guys, there you go. We talked about some storage. It's, it's something that we've never talked about on here, but it definitely is something you guys need to think about if you're a knife collector. I'm going to turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you all out about your day. There you go, guys. Like I said, there's a lot of options. And some people just like, like my friend Tino has got just a big shelf and he keeps like, it's a cabinet and he keeps them on display. I can't do that. So I think personally right now, my favorite is this burrito style wrap, this nafs.com burrito style, because it, it gets rid of some of the negatives that you get with some of the other ones, uh, but it takes up a little bit less space and they're nice and secure. So that's it on this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. it this is not just a nice specific video, so I hope you did enjoy it. You've noticed there's been a change to the upload schedule. I'm going to address that in a video on its own. So guys, that's it on this one. You know I've got sponsors. You know I've got affiliate links. Use that stuff. It supports the channel. I also have a membership. You can check out the membership. Join, get in. I do exclusive content, giveaways, premium sharpening tutorial series, and there's a public Discord down below. So support the channel any way you can. Biggest thing, like, share, subscribe. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.